Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, man. We're doing C-bums chest workout. Call me M-bum, baby. We're about to get her done. Follow along to build a massive Olympian chest like me. So first uh, movement's a fly, I think, to warm up the pecs a little bit. Um, there's a lot of evidence, and I agree that pre-exhaust, as people think it, they used to think like, oh, if you fatigue the chest so much with an isolation like a fly, and then you go bench, you're gonna hit the chest even more. Um, but a lot of studies show you actually hit the opposite. Because your chest is so fatigued from the pre-exhaust, you'll then use more tricep and shoulder when you're benching or pressing. So it actually bites you in the butt a little bit, but to use it as a warm up to kind of get the shoulder joint and pecs a little bit of blood in there, not the worst idea, but to go ham on these things, I'm not a big fan of. Um, C-Bone Chris doesn't actually give like exact sets and reps, so we're just kind of following along with what we see him doing. Um, and it seems like moderate-ish weight sets at 10 to 12, so I'll just get a little bit of blood going, feeling good so far. And then second movement, I think we got a dumbbell press. Um, we, we go up to about 100 dumbbells, so I'll probably just go as heavy as I can. Um, and closest to failure. So, dumbbell press it is. So when I'm normally doing like hypertrophy training personally, um, I tend to do just like a basic legs push pull, uh, either up or lower, so five days a week, or legs push pull, legs push pull repeat, so six days a week. Um, and with each exercise, you know, evidence shows and how I like to train is just three, two, one, reps from failure, right? RIR, reps in reserve. So how, how close to failure we can get with a different load and slowly progress over time, hitting different rep ranges um, with the musculature choosing an exercise that best feels that feels best with our musculature so uh, incline press is something that feels great for me obviously Chris is the best in the world but um, everybody can learn from everyone and just because he's the best in the world or looks the best in the world it could be despite training it doesn't necessarily mean his training is the best in the world so I'm excited to try it out looks like he does dumbbell incline next which again feels great for me uh, I'm gonna do a couple sets all out and again, when a big press is happening, I got a little warm up on, on my pecs, but I'm gonna get my triceps and shoulders warm. So I'll do one set, I call it a gimme set. I'll handle something 60, 70, 80% of my uh, weight that I'll do my working set with. And I'll just handle eight to 10 reps, get some blood in there very far from failure because I'm just warming up. And then I'll go to my working weight and I'll slam them out. No, no, no need to waste a bunch of sets, junk reps, doing stuff in between, right? Let's get to the working weight in a safe manner um, but without, I don't have to handle 80s and 85s, 90s, 95s to get to the 100s. I'm gonna handle 75s or 80s for a couple reps, go to the 100s, get ready. Believe me, buddy. Incline press is something kind of strong at, actually. I've been working on my barbell incline. So dumbbells are easy, baby. may not have a Olympia physique, but I think I have the Olympia uh, mentality and effort. And I just want to make C-Bum proud. I want to grow some double Ds, be Mr. Bumstead's uh, secret. So I just want to make C-Bum proud. Chris, you're over in Northern California, buddy. Catch a little workout. I'm going to get a better pump, and then I'm going to reveal the tatas. And you guys can judge it in the comments below and see on a scale of one, one to bum. One to bum, see where my tatas last. I think we benched last, so we're hopping into a machine incline. Um, I love these hammer strength. It's obviously my gym, but Third Street Barbell. Uh, one of the, the comfiest machines I got. Feels best on my, on, on my boobies. That's for you, Papa. Make you proud. I know I'm 10 years older than you, but we look very similar when I look in the mirror. I don't know if that's dysmorphia in the positive light or what, but big boobies, big boobies, big boobies. I don't know most people's philosophy. Coaches, you know, typically talk about it more than bodybuilders or lifters themselves, but we were talking about like the pace or execution of an exercise. Cause yeah, three sets of 10 on this, three sets of 10 on that, that's all great. 
But again, like we were talking before, how close to failure you get is very important. How many times a week you're doing the exercise is very important. I think how you execute the actual press or movement is very important. So for me, although it's bodybuilding, it's not performance-based, certain muscles and musculature grow and perform well when you're quick and explosive. So when press is, and even squats, I'll try to use the concentric, right, the, the shortening of a muscle, quick and explosive, then nice, slow, and controlled, get a stretch, quick pause, explosive, quick pause. May not always look that way, right, because things start to get heavy. I'm giving it all I got, but it might not be moving like that, but that's how I try to execute kind of all my, my lifting. Power lifting, you want to do this similar if you're strength-based. You, you want to go as slow or as fast as you can under control, then explode as hard as you can staying under control. And on machines, it's a little bit easier, obviously, right? A lot of the stability is taken out for me, so I can really just focus on pressing, pressing, pressing. The money shot. Different industries call it different things. I don't know if they use that in fitness, but where I come from, the money shot is the one that matters. If you get what I'm saying. Normally what I'm doing, my workouts again, it's kind of a legs push pull. So when I'm doing push, I'll do two or three exercises for chest. So I still got his shoulders and tries. C-bum now is got the best, right? So we can kind of refine things and change things. How he trains now in 2023, two or three time Olympia champ, probably isn't the way he trained five years ago, right? So how you train now or how your favorite lifter trains now may not be what's best for you right now, right? You gotta get to that spot. I like to get a little more volume in my shoulders and arms, a little more frequency, but not to say this won't work for multiple people, but he's already got so much mass on him, right? He can start to refine things, probably handle volume and strength differently. Not to say that you gotta find what works for you because we're all snowflakes, but for me, dosing in my volume for each muscle group, a little bit more important than just thrashing my titties. Although it feels good. What do we got? Flies. Quick standing fly. He does a machine fly. I'm gonna do a cable standing, which feels pretty good. I did a little bit of a decline on the warm up, so I'll push this one a little bit harder, go a little heavier, and then flat bench. I think Seabone might have some, you know, rotator cuff, shoulder stuff. You start to be that lean and that much muscle, plus, you know, no offense, big boy, but PEDs do play a role in your connective tissue, your ligaments, and your joints get a little bit more beat up because they don't grow as fast as your musculature and your strength uh, so a lot of people have issues you can have them natural as well but you start to take some stuff your muscles grow much faster than your ligaments much faster than your tendons so it can't always keep up with the force you're, you're pushing on them so i think he benches at the end of his workout because he's already fatigued and that'll overall limit the load for him which is a great idea but if you have no issues benching in the beginning getting the most bang for your buck and handling heavier weights might be fun which matters right because longevity this thing's about having fun the more fun you have, the more progress you make, the longer you're gonna stick with it. But then two, on the barbell bench, you can handle the most amount of weight. So it kind of makes sense if you are healthy to do it first or near the top. But it totally makes sense also, because he is he and we are we, that uh, we should bench at the end. So I'll try to push bench a little bit. I think he just sets a 10. I haven't flat benched a long time. I've been inclining myself on barbell. So I'll probably try to do, I think he did 225 for some 10s. And then he said, you become Mr. Olympia. So I'm gonna become Mr. Olympia, I'm gonna do at least 245 for 10, maybe 275 for 10. I don't know if I have that today, but we'll push that a little bit. And that's it, right? Yeah, yeah flies bench, let's get it, finish them out. more uh, complex of the movement I'll send to warm up a little bit more obviously on the machine press there's just less shit that can go wrong so I just hopped into two plates but yeah my background is the strength and conditioning powerlifting so we'll definitely warm this one up a little bit better just because the technical skill of the lift is a little bit more not that it's a huge deal also like lift more weight here right like I said earlier the barbell bench is what you can lift the most amount of weight with so I don't want to 
Just hopped at 315, acting all crazy. Two twenty-five. That's where champions are made. High school bench weight. No offense, C-bum. High schoolers deserve love too. All right, two twenty-five for ten makes Mr. Olympia add tens. That means I'm ten times Mr. Olympia. Give me my pose and trunks. I'm ready. Ready for the big show. That's it. I'm retired. Ladies and gentlemen, that was it. Seabum's workout. Shout the mic. If you can't tell, they at least grew from C's to double D's. I'm going to go drink some carbs, eat some protein, let the T-Tos repair. Hope you guys like the series where I'm trying out other folks' training programs. Seabum chest day. It's on the mic. New videos every single day. Be sure to turn on notifications. Be sure to subscribe. 3sb.co for all your clothing needs. I'll catch you in the next one.